During the interview people around the world witnessed the Duchess of Sussex claim a senior member of the royal family had concerns on the color of her unborn son's skin. A source told the Daily Telegraph at the time, King Charles wrote to Meghan after her interview to question why she had made such a damaging claim along with expressing sadness over the rift. However, the Duchess is believed to have responded voicing her concerns about the individual's unconscious bias. Since then, Prince Harry has denied he and his wife accused his family of racism when speaking in an interview with Tom Bradby this year. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said, I think the whole thing is absolutely scandalous. I couldn't believe the story when I saw that in fact, yet again, the Sussexes have proven that they cannot be trusted. Richard told GB News host Dan Witten that in the Oprah interview, there was no indication that unconscious bias was the issue regarding the comment over Archie's skin, as Meghan has since come out and said. He added, the whole thing is quite unbelievable and if she thinks she can move on and people will forget it, it's a very grave mistake. When discussing the situation on Dan Wooden tonight, the GB News host had fumed as he said, Circus? Who's the ringmaster? Who's just spent three years encouraging this stuff? Don't miss! Susanna Reid forced to intervene as GMB guest brands Ed Ignorant, video. Paul Burrell refused to chat about royals on Emma Celebrity, Royal, Bonnie Tyler's appearance distracts this morning fans, reaction, during the show, he questioned whether or not King Charles should cut all ties with Meghan as he welcomed guests to discuss the topic. Dan fumed it was unforgivable of Meghan to not have set the record straight with her claims from 2021 until recently. He said, she was the one that spent three years saying nothing about it publicly until Prince Harry backtracked in January. During that time, Prince Philip died and the late Queen died. I think it is unforgivable that Meghan Markle allowed those two great people to die without her correcting the record. There was no royal racist, the royal family is not racist. A spokesperson for Meghan Markle has said, the Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is completely false and frankly ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus that they alone are creating. Dan Wooten tonight continues Monday to Thursday on GB News from 9 p.m.